Are you even listening to me, Cole? Of course I'm listening. I just think you're going, well, a little overboard with the whole thing. It's easy for you to say this doesn't affect you. This doesn't affect me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? This isn't the first time we've been dealing with this thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, Cole. Can you be an adult for one minute and just say the word to her? If you say the word to her, it's not going to kill me. Not saying it isn't going to stop it from killing you. Plus, this is not what we're talking about. You want to cut off your breasts. so long that I want that? Eileen, you were so mad when you saw your chest for the first time after the lumpectomy. I can't go through that with you again. There was nothing I could do to help you. There was no way I could fix you the way you wanted. situation was different. When we found the tumor that time, they rushed me through the tests so fast that we didn't have time to think about what they were deciding to do for me. All they seemed to care about was making sure that we could still have children. So this time we'll have more control of the situation. We know what test they're going to want and we know that they're going to want to take it out. So, we'll just make sure they don't, as eloquently as you put it, butcher your breasts so bad that Rocky wouldn't even hit them. <laughs> Out of all the things that I've ever said to you, you remember that, but not to take out the garbage or to help me with Noah. Well, it's different because I don't care about the garbage. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see. So, does this mean you'll have my back if I elect to have a preventative double mastectomy? Seriously, Ellie? We just talked about how we couldn't be that drastic. Uh, how is that drastic? I have another tumor five years after my last surgery. That seems pretty reasonable. I just finished paying off the lumpectomy surgery. And I can't be, I can't afford to be paying hospital bills for the rest of my life. This is a one and done solution. One that you would have to live with for the rest of your life. You were so upset last time that you cannot sit here and tell me that it won't happen again. If I really hate it that much, I can just get implants once I've healed. Does that make you feel better? No, I think that's dumb. Why not keep what you have? Because what I have is poisonous. What I have within me is some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy that even my body is some kind of fuck-up. Is it because you're trans or something? Excuse me? Me and your mom talked about it, and we were concerned when you came home and you announced that you were going to slice off your tits, your useless tits, and how excited you were to become this new person. Your mom thinks that maybe your trans friends rubbed off on you. We love and support you even if you are transgender. You, you love and support me, even if I'm transgender. Uh, did you listen to a word you just said? I, I say this so much, I feel like a broken record player. It's like you don't even care about what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, okay, so if I decide, if I decide that I want to take off my breasts, that makes me trans? I, I can't believe that you would rather think of me as a man than consider even the possibility of dating a woman without breasts. Eileen, you're putting words in my mouth again. Oh. And that's not fair to me now, is it? 
You know how much that hurts me. It's not what I meant. Your mom and I just thought it was out of character for you. And I wanted to give you a chance to come out. Oh my God. How pretentious can you be? Okay, just, just admit it. It's never been about me and how I'd feel about my future. It's always been about you and how your life would change. And guess what? I'm done. Ellie, what are you talking about? You just calm down for a second and listen to me. No, no, don't Ellie me. I've listened to you for six years. Six years of, of listening to you and doing what you tell me to do. And I've had it. I have had it. You know, maybe you don't like the idea of a mastectomy. But, so maybe that means that the idea of a aerosectomy would be better. An aerosectomy? Aerosectomy. My friends have been right this whole time. I need to remove from my life what I thought was love because you have just been holding me back from living the life that I want to live. Aerosectomy. I'll send you pictures in a few months of my other ectomy. Maybe then you won't be so much of an ass. <laughs>